Hey, this is Pranav Gaikwad. I'm an engineer in Migration Toolkit for Containers team here at Red Hat. Today in this video, we'll uh, take a look at the retry mechanism for direct volume migration introduced in MTC 1.4.3. The retry mechanism is part of a bigger objective of making direct volume migration resilient against different network failures. Before we begin the demo, uh, I'd just like to elaborate on what this the, uh, mechanism really is and why do we even need it in the first place. To enable direct connection between the source and the target cluster for our sync transfer, we use OpenShift route. OpenShift routes give us a way to leverage native OpenShift networking stack for the transfer and enables us to run DVM in any cluster that is capable of creating OpenShift route, which pretty much every OpenShift cluster can do. The OpenShift routes are designed to handle application level HTTP, HTTPS traffic. They might not perform equally good when handling TCP level traffic that demands higher network throughput. In such scenarios, it is possible and we have actually observed that when we transfer data from the source to the target cluster over an, over an OpenShift route, uh, which is in the order of a few hundred gigabytes or more, you may see the rsync transfer failing due to connection being dropped midway during the transfer. These connection issues are usually intermittent and it is possible to simply retry rsync when it fails. To address such issues, uh, we introduced a retry mechanism in the direct volume migration controller itself, which makes sure that when an rsync operation is failing due to a network issue, it'll retry the transfer until it is completely successful or until the maximum number of specified retries is met. This mechanism keeps the rsync process going even during intermittent network failures. On my screen here, I have already created a MIC plan and I have created a stage migration to transfer persistent volume data from the source to the target cluster. I have also set up a simulation script which attempts to simulate intermittent network failures. It periodically creates and deletes a network policy in the source namespace. What this network policy does is uh, basically it blocks the network outgoing network traffic from the rsync pod, which pretty much uh, attempts to simulate a real network failure. The script is a little bit aggressive in that the network failures are simulated more often than you would actually see in a production environment. So you uh, will see rsync pods being failed uh, more often than expected. Let's go ahead and uh, start the demo. As I said, I already have a stage migration created for, for a namespace which has three PVCs. I'm just gonna go ahead and skip through different steps and go to the direct volume step which is responsible for running our sync. So it looks like we are, yeah. So as soon as the view details page, uh, the view details link is visible, we can click on that and go to the details page. As you can see here, we have three PVCs, PVC zero, one, and two. And for each of them, uh, DVM controller has created an rsync pod. The simulation script is running in the background, which is uh, creating and uh, creating the network policy, waiting for some time and deleting it. And it keeps uh, doing it until it finds artsing parts uh, running in the namespace, which is uh, uh, which which is basically a network failure simulation. So now. Uh, for PVC zero, we are on. We are running a pod in test app namespace, which is DVM rsync XNG44, which is at two percent uh, on a, in 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 the transfer. I'm just just gonna quickly skip through a little bit and see. 
All right, so, so as you can see, the pod changed from XNG44 to BF90V, which means that the previous one failed due to a network issue and the number of retry, the maximum number of retries is not met. Therefore, the DVM controller created a new pod, which is BF90V, and it picked up the transfer from where it was left in the previous attempt and we're at six percent right now as i said the script is a little bit aggressive so uh we will see more parts being created in this one the progress information here uh in the in the progress bar is um, aggregated over multiple attempts so if if an rsync operation failed at 10 percent in the first attempt the second attempt will start from 10% and go uh, until maybe 20% before it failed. And then the third will start from 20% and so on until it reaches 100% or the maximum number of retries is met, whichever comes first. I'm just gonna skip ahead and you can notice that uh, the name, na names of the asking parts are changing over time. Users by default we use uh, we specify twenty as the number of retries. If if that is uh, not sufficient, users can use uh, a configuration variable in Migration Controller CR uh, and increase or decrease uh, the number of retries as per needs. Typically, if you have a volume in an order of a few terabytes. You might need more than 20 retries, uh, but that all depends on, on the network uh, cluster has. So eventually all the data from volume PVC zero was migrated through different, uh, through various number of attempts same for pvc1 and same for pvc2 a migration is only uh, the the transfer is only called failed when all of the attempts fail if any one of the attempts succeeds then the migration is called successful 